go. Astros, welcome back to Houston Life. If you've been a longtime Astros fan, you have probably heard this next song. Once or twice, Once I think. Once or twice. We're throwing it back to the dome days with Mac Hayes. Go, go, Astros, the theme song. It feels, it feels good hearing I it, love right? This tune. He's also been behind Love You Blue for the Houston Oilers, and now his Astros classic is reaching the next generation of fans. Courtney and Derek, hello, my friends. It is so good to see you guys at another World Series Astros time. Hmm, World Series Astros, sounds like a song to me. Hey, listen, in 1979, I wrote a song for the Houston Oilers to spearhead their incredible Bum Phillips Love You Blue era. Meanwhile, a friend of mine, Astros Hall of Fame Cesar Cedeno, was a member of the 80s iconic Astro team with superstars like Nolan Ryan, Jose Cruz, Enos Cabell, and many others. So I decided to write a song for the Astros, and I called it Go Go Astros. I even did a, a, a Spanish version of it called Vamos Vamos Astros. Well, imagine my surprise when it was revived almost 40 years later by the Houston radio and TV media when the Astros won their first World Series in 2017. And since then, the little ditty has claimed a life of its own. It's been played on Houston radio and TV shows just like yours, the MLB nationally, various YouTube projects. There are Go-Go Astros and Vamos Vamos Astros ringtones. And believe it or not, it's even a Go-Go Astros Halloween light show. And it even made the list in Craig Biggio and Brian Metagrit's book, A Hundred Things That All Astro Fans Should Know and Do Before They Die. That was special. It has just been fun. My sincere thanks to everyone that has played the song throughout these years and the amazing Houston Astros. And today you have one of my favorite versions by Clear Creek High School Choir Director Matthew Taylor, James Park, and the Clear Creek Chamber Singers with a cool new video out for just 2022. I think you're gonna like it. Thanks guys for having me on and remember tonight, go, go Astros! Go, go Astros! Bum, 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 bum. Chamber singers. That Great was fantastic. It was Good awesome. Hi, Matthew. How are Hi there. You? Hi there. We have Matthew Taylor, the choir director, and of course all the choir students here. Sounds great, you guys. You can't help but tap your toe. How proud of you? Are you of these kids? Oh, it's, it's just such a privilege to get to, to get to take these students and and showcase uh, the work of not only not only myself and, and my associate uh, Rachel Smith, but also the previous director James Park, who arranged this version of Mac Hayes's classic. Uh, and these students pulled this out in two days. Two wow! Days they put this together.
together. Okay, we were just going to ask how long it took to rehearse. And for some of our viewers who might remember a couple years ago, a different group and a different director back then uh, from Clear Creek came in. Y'all are so talented. I mean, in general, to be able to do this in two days, you're rehearsing on a regular schedule after school, before school. How does it work? This was learned. How long did it take? It was two class periods, right? Yeah. We did it in just two, two 47-minute class periods, and we shot the entire music video in 20 minutes on a Friday afternoon. Oh, my word. Yeah, That's actually, amazing. Yeah, we performed over for our admin and then uh, ran around campus, shot it all, and then put it together. It is so sense. cool. Wow. Well, that's what happens when you have a group of talented singers, right? I mean, it comes together quickly. Check out the video because it's really fun. And not only that video, but you all are, I mean, that's choir should be able to perform on different genres. And you have Latin, you have country. I mean, you have, you cover everything. We really do. This group specifically is a subset of one of our larger groups, and they cover extremely early music and extremely old. So we were practicing in here just before singing a Latin verbum caro factum est by a composer named Hostler. So that was way renaissance. So from there to the year. It's that on my playlist, cool. actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like that's what, at the gym, right? That's what we're all bopping to. I was like, what now? What is that? It, it does sound very, very fancy. It's been a while since my own choir years. Hey, uh, has anyone from the Astros been in touch with you all? Because I feel like you need to be performing at Minute Maid Park, right? I mean, I, we feel the same way, right? Agreed? Agreed. Oh, so if anybody out there is listening. <laughs> Okay, um, well, that was fantastic. Yeah. I really can see you performing one day at Minute Maid Park. Hopefully the Astros are listening and watching, but you do have a concert coming up as well. We do. We're performing December 2nd at Clear Creek High School in League City. Uh, it's our Christmas concert. And it's going to feature all the entire program. So they will be opening the concert with the Verboom Caro we just talked about, but they cover everything from there to um, do you hear what I hear. You name it, you're going to oh, hear it. Oh, that's lovely. Fantastic. Y'all are so talented. Keep up the good work. And thanks for entertaining uh, us and our viewers today on Houston life. Go Astros. We Thanks do so appreciate it. Great to meet you, Matthew, as well. And hopefully we'll see you at Minute Maid Park one day. Well yeah. deserved. All right. Once again, Matthew Taylor and the Clear Creek Chamber Choir. Thanks, everyone. And of course, go Astros. And Matt Hayes, by the way, we have to give him a shout out for spending that s special message to us. And he let us know bittersweet news. After 58 years, he is retiring from performing. Say it ain't so, Mac, but congratulations on your retirement and thanks for always making time for us here at Houston Life. Congratulations. Right. We love you.